Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will learn about the modern theming options for Canvas Power Apps. We will create custom themes, apply it to both modern as well as classic controls, and see how we can create a theme selector option for our end users, which allow them to dynamically change the theme for the Power App. Let's check it out in action. Let's learn about modern theming for Canvas Power Apps. I have built a screen that includes both modern controls and classic controls. In the insert panel is where we can insert controls that includes the modern controls that follow the Fluent design standards as well as the classic controls. Modern theming includes a set of standard out-of-the-box themes that we can select from. These modern themes apply to both modern as well as classic controls. For the modern controls, the modern theme is the out-of-the-box option. Whereas for classic controls, the way these modern themes are applied, is if you explore the properties of those controls, the fill property of the button control, it uses the PowerFX formula app.theme. This points to the current selected theme in the app. And from that theme, it goes ahead and picks the primary color. The fact that modern theming applies both to modern and classic controls allows app makers to create a more consistent experience with the click of a single button. Modern theming allows us to create our own custom themes. Click add a theme, give your theme a name, pick a seed color for your theme. This you can pick directly from the color picker experience. Notice as I pick the seed color, the hex code and the RGB code gets automatically calculated based on the selection I make. You can also manually enter the color code right here, either in hex or RGB. You can pick the font for your theme. It generates a palette of colors which basically include variations of colors depending upon the primary seed color that you select. Vibrancy and torsion allow us to adjust the theme palette generated, especially the colors at the lighter end of the palette. Vibrancy affects how muted or bright the palette is. And torsion impacts the tint of the color. As you are building out your theme, you also have a live preview of how the theme would be applied to controls. So notice, as I make adjustments to the properties of my theme, I can see a live preview in action. Once you are ready, click create and this will add my custom theme to my Power App. And I can create multiple themes. As I select a specific theme, automatically all the controls will change. The theme that you select, the way it gets applied to your Power App is if you go to the app object, there is the property theme is set to RD green that is the exact name of my theme. Let's try and change this to RD purple. Depending upon the theme name set for this property value, the theme of my Power App is changing. And of course, if I go to the theme option and pick a specific theme, you can see how this property changes. The standard themes, their names 
are predefined, Power Apps theme, Teams theme, and so on and so forth. The custom themes, depending upon the names you provide, you can see how the name is being applied right here. Which also means we can allow our users to dynamically change the theme of the Power App to give them the flexibility to select the theme for the app. Let's see how we can do this. In my home screen, I'll go ahead and insert the drop down control. And for this drop down, I'll list out the themes. Items expects an array of data. The first item, I'll pick RD purple, comma. I'll pick RD green, Power Apps theme, and let's say I'll pick Orange theme. For the drop down fields, I'll add the name. So this modern drop down control now lists out the different theme options that I can select. Now, when a selection is made in the drop down, I would like to set a variable which would define the theme that the user has selected. So for the drop down controls on change property, I will set a variable where selected theme self dot selected. Let's select RD green. If I explore this variable, it has the details for my RD green theme. If I head back to my app objects theme property, right now it's hard coded to RD purple. Let's change this to where selected theme. And you can see the magic in action. The user can now pick the theme for the power app. Here I have a help desk power app that allows users to create support tickets. Now this is an end to end application with multiple screens. Help desk will land me to the screen where I can see all the tickets that have been created. I have the option to filter the tickets based upon the status. I can view the tickets that I have created tickets that are assigned to me. And I can also look at tickets that are overdue since X number of days. I can create tickets, view details of existing tickets, make modifications and more. I have given the option for my end users to pick the theme. I can go to theme selector. I've utilized the same concept of that drop down to pick the theme for the app. I've also placed controls on the screen. So as they pick the theme, they can see a preview of the theme live here in action. And now if I head back to the home screen experience and start going through my different screens of my app, you will notice that the theme has changed depending upon the selection that I made. Here I picked a theme. It has this dark background color of the theme that it has applied to the welcome screen. I check to see if the variable that I'm setting for the theme, if that equals my theme called inverted theme. In that case, I am applying the primary theme color. Here where I have this tab control, this is in a container. If you observe the fill property of this container, I have picked the lighter shade of my applied theme. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.